Hey, good morning. Um, welcome to the video. We're here for what's essentially day two in Venice. So to start the day off, thankfully it's nice and shaded right now, it's nice and cool. It could be actually down to the place we're about to go, completely blocking out the sun. Uh, so we're here in uh, St. Mark's Square on the island of San Marco in Venice. And so, the first thing we're going to do today, that's these guys behind us. We saw this yesterday. And they're little like metal and anim animatronic type figures that are banging the bells. Fantastic. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is climb this. And this is the Campanile di San Marco here in St. Mark's Square. But it's so it's pretty high up. Uh, it, we're going to go up there, see what kind of views we can see. We should be able to see the entirety of Venice from up there, so we should get some very nice panoramic shots. So follow us along today and hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get all of our latest videos and hit the bell icon so you'll get that lovely push notification that everybody hates. Let's go. Cool thing about St. Mark's Square is you've got all these little shops and cafes and whatnot. So we've got a cafe just here. It actually says cafe above it. Uh, and it sells ice cream, so it's gelato. Drinks and things. Uh, it is a bit more expensive here due to where you are. When I say here, I mean in St. Mark's Square. Uh, a small can of Coke over there is three euros. Loads of birds, loads of uh, pigeons, loads of seagulls around here. The tower itself, the Campanile di San Marco, doesn't open until 10.30. It's just shy of 20 past. As you can see, we've got a queue. And this is stretching all the way around. So it's 10 euros to go up for an adult, 5 euros for a child. It's 10.30 till 9. We've also got the Basilica, um, that, that in itself is actually closed for refurbishment, like I said in yesterday's video, but you can go up to the balcony and the museum. That opened at 10, they're doing temperature checks on there. And as you can see, the queue stretches all the way down. So you can get here quite early and you can start queuing up. But, but like I said, that is open till nine o'clock. The museum and the Overlook are also open quite late as well. Uh, when we came yesterday, we only queued for about 10 minutes. So you might be better placed coming later on in the afternoon. Obviously it'll be hotter, you'll have the sun blaring down on you. But it's not too bad. This is the Piazza San Marco. And everything's in Italian. So I can't read that. So we're just um, about to climb up the Campanile di San Marco. Um, 10 pound, oh, 10 euros, sorry, to get in per person. There's no stairs currently. I think that may be down to what's going on, um, but I'll let you guys know. So we got our two tickets. We go in, they checked our temperatures with the electronic temperature camera, I guess it is, electronic temperature camera, and 36.6, .6, so that's perfectly within range. Face masks at all times, we sanitised our hands as well. So we just made it to the top, and as I said, can't get the stairs up. There are no stairs apparently anymore. It is a lift that's been in operation for 30 years. So, happy days. Uh, if you've got a disability, you can do it. But there are stairs to get into the lift area. So you're gonna have to be carried up there. But you get some pretty good views from the top. So let me turn you guys around. 
And look at that for a view. Absolutely beautiful. So we do have some uh, some signs here as well, showing us some sites, but uh, you have to download an app, Venice Panorama, and then it'll tell you each of the sites. And as we come around to the west side of the tower, we've got another view. So down there in the far back, in central Payne, that's, uh, that's the airport. You've got St. Mark's Square just below us. Um, until you're up here, I don't actually notice those designs in the pavement, which is really nice. Um, you've got a pretty big cathedral over there. That's probably where we're going to be going to shortly. So these um, these boats, the yellow yellow bottomed, white topped boats. Those are the transport from the airport, the boat dock at the airport, should I say? And then you see, obviously, over Venice as a whole. It's a very strange city because it's so clustered together but the buildings aren't exactly very high. As we make our way around the south side um, we've got a few separate islands so if you look at this island right in front of us you see how close the water is and actually um, just here below where the gondolas are you can see the water is actually pretty much coming up onto the main plaza. So the water is exceptionally high right now. It's global warming for you folks. Um, all of these little bollards that you see in the water, they are prevention from boats getting too close to the islands themselves. So these ones here that kind of form a tunnel, that's where you have to come and those, that's, that's the area that you have to sail through, you have to go through in order to get to certain areas. Uh, as, you, as you look down here, you've got a bit more of a green, naturalized area, um, loads of trees and whatnot. It's something that's very sparse in Venice. And you've got the whole of the waterfront that you can walk down. A few restaurants and whatnot, and you've obviously got gondolas come over here and we've got the east we just zoom in kind of in central pain you've got like the new land that's formed because of the, the change in tides and that's obviously because um, the rise in sea levels and whatnot and the lower end of the sea levels as the tides change all throughout the day that becomes more visible and obviously that'll disappear over time with global warming and the rising sea levels as a whole. It's going to take a little while, but it is happening. And just down the down the front, you can see all of the all of the larger yachts docking up. A lot of people disembarking from one of the airport boats. Just down here in front of us, this is what's effectively like a palace that you can go in and have a look around and we've got a few museums in St Mark's Square so that's pretty much everything that we've seen you've got the basilica below us which uh, actually looks incredibly quiet around the top at the moment uh, but you've got a lot of gold gilding that you can see you've got some of the turrets really is beautiful so with that being said we're gonna go back down we have to get an elevator back down it is the same elevator so every time somebody comes up somebody goes back down so we're gonna go down now we're going to the Basilica di Santa Maria and that's the Basilica that I pointed out in the previous clip when we we're at the top of the tower uh, it's a 20 minute walk from St Mark's Square 
but it's quite a nice chill walk. We're just wandering around, we're gonna get a drink on the way and just relax. Over here you can get water taxis, essentially water taxis, water boats across. It's around about two euros per person each way. If you're doing it once or twice, it's not that bad, but if you continue doing it all day, every day, it kind of adds up. Just all depends on what your priorities are, whether you've got that spare time or... Lovely. Or whether you're at a little bit of a rush for time. If you are at a little bit of a rush for time, then it might be better to just pay that. You can get across really quickly. Um, but walking around, it's a nice way to just see see the streets, see Venice itself. We stopped at a little cafe on the way, got ourselves a drink and a few cannolis. Very nice. The total was, I think, 10 euros. And then we got another drink as well to take away, so 13 euros altogether. We've just come across this Museum of Music, and it's free entry. So we're going to go inside and check it out just whilst we're on the way to the Basilica, see what's inside and uh, see if it's worth the money that's free. So this is a step-by-step -step on how you make violence. And here we see some of the tools and crafts used in the process. final process is the staining of it and making the harp and that's the final product you can see a similar process in here um, but this is for cello as well There's a pretty in-depth process that's involved and they're all handmade. Slowly get in there. Just gotta walk up these hundreds of steps first. Right over the canal. And this is where we're headed. The final steps as we go down. Now we're here. Outside the basilica. So you can see the campanile. So we're going to go in here in a second.
I hope you enjoyed that look in the Basilica. Uh, these places really are beautiful. Venice is very much just a place to to chill and take the sights in more so than anything. There's not a lot of tourist attractions. You're not going to find your Sea Life Centre, your zoo, places like that. It's very much a walk around, go in your galleries, museums and have a coffee and let the day pass. Um, so it's probably not the best place for children. There aren't any tourist attractions that they're going to necessarily enjoy. It could be an educational experience for them though. Uh, so I'm not saying take your children out of school to bring them on holiday but this could be an educational experience for them for a couple of days to go to the galleries to experience the history of Venice and uh, how it came to be. So it turns out whilst there are buildings down here there's nothing actually to go in and see but we do have a pretty spectacular view. If we turn around this way, we've got the main Venetian island as well. It really is something. It's one of the main tourist attractions in Venice is the Rialto. This is a bridge that goes right over the top of the Grand Canal. It's quite steep, quite high, but the, uh, the steps themselves are fairly shallow, so coming up them you shouldn't really have a problem. But as I said, this really isn't a disabled friendly area at all. But some of the views that you get from the top of the Rialto are phenomenal. steps as I was saying and if we that's the south of the Grand Canal as we pan over you've got loads of shops up here and on the walkways coming up to it you've got loads of little places selling drinks and fruit and whatnot but it's busy it's very busy so if we just come down here to get away from people quickly you can see why it's pretty busy. We're gonna try and get out the area. There's a lot of people here, it's very crowded. And uh, very few people wearing masks as well. But just give you an idea of what the Rialto looks like over the Grand Canal. Like the proper British tourists that we are, we've come into McDonald's for some lunch. Uh, give you an idea of what it is like from a cultural perspective, McDonald's is the same everywhere but different everywhere. So, give you an idea of what we've got. This was 18 euros and 20 cents in total for everything. Table service like they do in England and I think they do in the US and a lot of places actually worldwide now. I'll give you an idea of what we got though. Cheese and bacon fries. A little burger with like a sriracha mayo type thing and peppers. Little pizza pockets. A McToast. This is like prevalent all across Europe. And then just the standard milkshake, McFlurry, Coca Cola. So it gives you an idea. It's the same everywhere. It's also a little bit different. You've got unique ma menu options dependent on where you go. Um, these fries we've not seen anywhere. This burger, completely new. It's like a special here. So it's cool variations that you get. So as it turns out, you shouldn't try and go into a palace 40 minutes before the official closing time because they don't let you in. But we managed to buy the tickets for tomorrow, so we're going to do it tomorrow. They were 25 euros per person. A little bit on the pricier side, but that's okay. It's a tourist attraction again. Um, the procedures going in were pretty cool. They are once again using the temperature check camera, the digital temperature check camera, which I love. I love, I think it's fantastic. You just look like you're taking a selfie. It's got an outline of you on the screen and you just have your temperature checked. 36 degrees 
fine, go in. This one was a little bit different because we also had to have our temperature checked on the wrist as well. So we put our wrist just to the side and then they checked it two ways. We're just having a walk along the sea. Um, this is the main sea behind us. We're gonna go all the way along. There's some gardens right at the end that I pointed out earlier when we were up at the top of the tower. Just see if we can see anything. This is one of the main hubs of activity to get to the mainland. We are heading, if you can see the greenery, right down the end. Uh, just past where that massive yacht is parked up. We just found this really cool cafe just behind us in a, in a greenhouse. Got a little park here for the dogs and whatnot. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna probably have a cup of coffee, maybe um, maybe a juice, something like that, and see if they got any sweet treats. Um, one of the cool things in here, the menu is on a QR code, so they've got a sign on the table. You just scan the QR code with your phone, and then you've got your menu in Safari or Chrome, whatever. It's only in Italian, so you're gonna need to translate it somehow. But anyway, we got there, we got what we wanted. I've ordered a peach iced tea. We got a Cook Zero. Fabulous looking piece of cheesecake. And then this. Drowned in coffee, this is called. And I am so looking forward to this. This whole holiday has just been about food. So just come out of that cafe, uh, Cafe La Stella, it was called. It's kind of in the in the park area right at the end. What a beautiful place. That was a nice little find. Uh, 20 euros altogether, so just about 18 pound. There's not a lot of greenery here in Venice, but we found what's the only real greenery here, although it's being constructed behind us. So we've got a nice little park here. Overlooking the sea. It's like I said, this is right at, right at the far end of San Marco. And a um, little play area in here. You've got a little pagoda just here. This would be really nice, just chill out in the evening. Just sit down and watch people go by. Maybe walk your dog or your cat, if that's what you're into. You can walk your cat, it is a thing. So we're gonna have a little chill walk around here. Do recommend it. Nice place to chill after a long day. So we just had a gondola ride, a little bit of a spur at the moment thing. Um, but I'll put some footage in of that, and hopefully you enjoy it. I will have a separate video coming out, which will be an entire gondola ride around, around the area.
It's a little bit more of a scenic one. Uh, the prices are regulated here, so it's 80 euros before seven o'clock, 100 euros after seven o'clock. But they do try and get a little bit more money out of you. Would you like to do an extended one? Would you like to do this? Would you like to do that? Um, so we paid ultimately it was about 110 euros. We got 40 minutes. Our guide was fantastic. He had loads of facts, told us loads of information, and we saw something being filmed out uh, by St. Mark's Square as well, which uh, on a boat in the water. Maybe it's a blockbuster, we don't know. Um, but we came down all the canals, we did the normal, the normal thing. And this is where we started out, just at this dock over here. Fantastic, something that you have to do in Venice is get a gondola ride. Highly recommend it. A little bit expensive, but splash out if you're here and do it. We're gonna go and get some food now, so we're just looking around to see where we can eat. Hopefully some uh, some nice pizza. The restaurant we've come into is Rosso Pompadoro. Rosso Pompadoro. Uh, so this is actually probably about a five minute walk from St. Mark's Square really reasonably priced. The menu itself is in Italian, but they've got a QR code on the bottom that you scan and that'll give you the English menu, which is pretty cool. No prices on that, on the English menu, so you've got to kind of go back and forth between the English and the Italian menu that you've got. It is a disposable paper menu. Um, pretty good selection, very cheap. You look in at 11 to 13 euros for a pizza. So the first dish on the menu is latiella. So these are traditional uh, like fried edibles from here. Um, little pizza pocket type things. It's kind of look like cauliflower. Uh, I think these are spinach or seaweed. And these are like croquettes, these little mini pizzas. And those are 12 euros. They recommend to be shared between two. So the start was really nice, really great selection of stuff. Um, we just waited half hour, maybe more, between main course and starter. We just got our pizza though. It's a nice looking pizza, it is fresh out of the oven, grant, granted. Um, so this is Becky's one. Beef tomato and mozzarella. And this is my divola. Um, this is effectively just spicy salami. So we'll give these a try and hope they are worth the wait. I'm not quite sure what to say about it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't expensive. With the cover charge that you have to pay here, it was 45 euros. That's not, uh, it's not too bad. The food was really nice. The pizzas were really well cooked. Toppings were pretty generous, lots of cheese. Becky's in particular was very nice actually, but it was an exceptionally long way. It looked like they were short staffed. They only had one guy making pizzas and the restaurant's full. So he did say this to us, it was because it was busy. But if you think it's gonna be busy and you've seen around, bring someone else on. So I don't think we can necessarily recommend it based on that experience. If we wanna go on just the food, the food was nice. But if we're going with everything, we can't recommend. We've had a really good day. We'll see, uh, we've done a lot of different little things today. Gone up and, uh, gone up in the tower. Got a gondola ride, which was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The chap that we had was brilliant and he gave us loads of information. Um, like I said, I will put up a full video of the gondola ride, so you can, you can check that out. Um, but if you've enjoyed following along with us, you're enjoying our trip in Venice, smash the thumbs up, helps me out a lot. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when we post a new video. See you on the other side. Thanks.